you know that customers have connected more than 400 million smart home devices to Alexa? And partners such as iRobot have been critical in building smart home experiences to make customers' lives easier. Alexa, I'm in the middle. We at Amazon Alexa have been working on new tools such as Action Controller that leverage advances in generative AI to make building experiences for Alexa simpler and faster. With Action Controller, you can model the same interactions you can build today, but do it much more easily and quickly. You can expand the possibility of customer utterance patterns through LLM inference versus building models through custom Alexa skills or using existing primitive controllers. This can reduce development time from a few months to just a few weeks. This integration allows us at iRobot to focus on managing our devices while sort of leaving the complicated voice stuff to the Alexa team, and they're just terrific at it. Alexa, have the vacuum sweep the hallway. Okay, sweeping the hallway. With Action Controller, you don't need to model select utterances tied to an API. You can model simple actions, say vacuum, targets, say a room such as the kitchen, and states, say start, to control devices. This means customers can say, Alexa, the kitchen floor is dirty. And Alexa will be able to infer the intended action is vacuum and the state start. Alexa, my kitchen floor is dirty. Okay, mopping the kitchen. Alexa, vacuum in front of the sofa chair. Okay, starting to vacuum. Alexa's action controller is enabling better in the moment experiences for iRobot consumers without really them having to remember specific grammar or wording to get Alexa to do what they want. But that's just the beginning. As our LLM learns more from device context and usage, we expect Alexa to support more conversational interactions, vastly expanding the smart use cases for which it can be used. So our hope is that the action controller will also evolve to help enable these more nuanced experiences.